What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the verse. I'm your host, Sinistra 01, and we are back with more Star Citizen Alpha 3.0 Live. This time, we're actually going to get into some combat. I really haven't shown too much combat so far in any of the PTU or obviously any of the live build of the Alpha. Just keep in mind, it is an Alpha, and you always have to tell that to yourself when you're playing this that it is not a finished product, it is not polished, um, but it is obviously out there for us to be able to have the chance to mess around with and play. So, you gotta love that, uh, just the fact that we can actually play something that's completely not ready yet and still early in development. So, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out a ship. We're gonna do the Aegis Saber. And the reason I'm doing that is because that is more of a combat-tailored ship. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. So that way maybe we can get into some actual... ...combat. All right, looks like there's a bug and this one's not working. <laughs> Must be this specific server. All right. So, we should be able to go This one. I mean, that happens. It happened in the PTU as well, so Really, dude, you're going to push me out of the way so you can press the cycle button. <laughs> it's better to run regular instead of sprint. That way you don't waste all of your stamina. So here's our saber. Now this ship must be available to everybody because we don't actually own a saber. Lift off. All right, now we got that in our dust. Let's bring up our lots of missions available right now. What's this one? Okay, this will probably have some uh, enemies. 275. So usually these repair uplinks will have some combat involved. Hey, Strain. <laughs> Look at his face. Quantum travel complete. Okay, let me get a feel for my weapons. Alright, so we've got... Okay, that one is that one, and that one is that one. Alright. Let's see if we can take out an Aurora LN. Direct hit. All 
right, and he is taken care of. He's a little bit of a smaller ship, the Gladius, so it might be a little harder to hit. And we got him. Actually, he's still alive. There he goes. He's done now. Oh, we got another one in. Nope, I think that's it. Alright, let's get in there, repair this, get a little bit of money. We're going to exit. Power on. Here we go. <clears throat> and we got 89. Not a lot of credits, but as you can see, it was a very simple, easy mission to accomplish. Oh, hit my, <laughs> hit my head there. And now law has been restored. So, I don't know why, but I th either... There we go. Oh, wait, there we go. Law has been restored. Nice successful mission for us. Now I don't think instances show you your past history of missions. They only show you when you're in a specific instance. You have to do a bunch of missions in that one specific instance in order to do the others. What's this one? Crew member missing. We'll go ahead and do this one. Even though I don't recommend it because we're probably going to die. Especially if you don't have like... 
a lot of people with you to help out. Because usually these missions have a a lot of enemies that you have to take out. Now, it could be done as well. As these are missions that pop up and go away very quickly. Yep, so from the looks of it, I don't think this one's here anymore. Yeah, it's gone. See? So what that means is it was pretty much done by the time we got here. So we're going to take a little trip to Levski. Now normally, if you look at the planets like Daymar, Selen, Yellen, whatever... Um, when you're around 210 kilometers away, it's a big planet that's taking up a lot of the space. This kind of gives you a scale of how this is a, not a planet, this is a, uh, an asteroid. Just a big asteroid ball, um, that is not nearly as big as the planets, or the, the moons and stuff that we've been, the other stuff that you can get into. So this one doesn't take as much time to get there, especially since in this vehicle we are pretty much um, the fastest you're going to get in an Aegis Sabre. I do love the layout of the Sabre though. Maybe one day I'll have a Sabre. But definitely not going to pay my own money for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it in game. The only, only sh so this is. Let me tell you my history in Star Citizen as far as what ships I've gotten. The first package I got was a Star Citizen Squadron 42 package with the Aurora. Um, so I got that one first, and then I upgraded from the Aurora to a well, not really an upgrade, more like a side grade. I wanted to try the Mustang, so I tried the Mustang Beta, which has its own living quarters, which is pretty cool. I just did not like the look of the ship, uh, the, the flying the ship, I guess. Uh, so then from the that, from the beta, I went and got the, um, the Stalker, or the Titan, whichever one has the um, Aegis uh, that has the bounty hunting um, pods in them. And then from there, um, I knew I wanted the, the brand new upgrade to the Cutlass Black because it's kind of I wanted to be able to do cargo missions, be able to fight, uh, have like a nice cool ship, and with the Cutlass Black you get all of that. So that is the ship that I currently have, and this ship I guess is just here in everyone's um, 
in, in everyone's inventory. Alright, so we're still pretty pretty ways away, but I want to slow it down a little bit and we're going to get closer to the surface so we can just see how detailed asteroids, I guess, are hitting this place a lot. Now, I think what would be cool is if we could actually see some of that because you see all these planets that already have uh, asteroid crater impacts and stuff like that in it, but why can't we, when we're running along, see, like, a shooting asteroid make a new crater in it, you know? Unfortunately, I don't think their planetary tech can do that. But it would be really cool if they did implement that somehow. You can see lots of pop-in and stuff like that, but that's to be expected. This is still an alpha, and I imagine the jaws isn't that good. But we're only getting about 19 frames, 20 frames. So clearly, as you can see, when we come closer to Levski, it has a major impact on performance. So let's get in here and land. Now there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. You can either go down to here, click the menu button, go over to comms, and just hit that. The other way to do it is to bring up this. Um, and you can go to comms that way as well. But obviously this is the, the quickest, you just have it set to that. All of our landing areas are currently full. Please hold for assignment. Alright, so it looks like we have to wait before we can get in. So we can see there's a ship in every Head single one. There. Hangar assigned. All right, we got a hangar. Nice. So once you hit it, it does it automatically. It looks like. I would say that's a successful landing. There you nice. Go. Safely landed. All right, so I'm not getting any prompts. There we go. Nice successful landing. All right, let's head into Levski. And now our ship will be stored at Levski 
if we do not leave this area. Or if we log out of the game or whatever, our ship will be at Levski from now on. And it will not be back at Port Olisar where we respawn. Unfortunately, you don't spawn here if you leave here. Because it always puts you into a new server. I've still yet to have a game that put me into the same instance or the same server that I was previously in. So I've always... Always had to start back at Port Halls here. Now this is where the frames will usually dip really, really, really bad. It's been a while since I've been to Levski though. I mean, immediately went to 10, 11, 19, 17. You can see it took a big dip. But it's a really, really nice station. But they're more focused on getting everything in that they need to get in before they focus too much on optimization and polish. Alright, well that's going to be this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I had a blast playing this again for you guys. I love playing Star Citizen and I want to get into it as much as I can. Um, it's just such a fun, fun game to play. And you can pretty much get lost in it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.